Дорогие друзья, All our colleagues and partners who, like all of us, are interested in a successful and steady development of sport, in preserving its humanistic potential and basic principles of inclusiveness, equality, fair and clean competition, further promoting the great sports values that unite the world is one of the key tasks of our big multinational sports family. And uh, we should fulfill it together, drawing on the time-tested norms and rules, respecting one another and hearing each other, building a constructive dialogue based on good intentions. The Forum Russia Country of Sports is designed to provide this approach to our big deed. This year marks the 10th anniversary since the first forum was held. However, its format is still relevant and a possibility of a free exchange of information and the openness of discussion venues is becoming more and more important and relevant. Sport has long become an indispensable part of social life, and it is the society that defines the paths of its development and its global agenda. Moreover, it should suggest that the international calendar of official sports events would include new kinds of sports and new competitive formats. Those that would be indeed of great interest to everyone that would stimulate people to do sports regularly, to have an active and healthy lifestyle. Russia has already initiated holding the sports games of the Commonwealth of Independent States, and the first games will take place in Kazan in August 2020. We have also supported the idea of organizing BRICS games. They will also be held next year in Russian city Chelyabinsk in the Urals. Open sports events within the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and Eurasian Economic Union also have good prospects. We are also glad that close cooperation with our partners within these influential international venues implies the sphere of sport. All our suggestions were accepted and adopted very enthusiastically by our colleagues. I will reiterate that Russia has always been and remains ready for the dialogue and joint work on all the issues of the international sports agenda. We strive to do the best practices of organizing mass sports events and of using innovative technologies and scientific achievements in sports effectively. On our part, we are ready to share the experience of organizing competitions that we have amassed and it includes a whole range of sports events from small tournaments to the biggest championships globally. And certainly Russia that gave hundreds of great men and women and records to sport and whose athletes today, against all odds, attain new heights in sport, remains one of the athletes are first and foremost interested in making all shortcomings related to the anti-doping issues become a thing of the past, so that all Russian athletes would come into arenas on equal terms and show their skills without any restrictions and be an example both for professional and amateur athletes, primarily, certainly, for young people. The quality of life of every person, his or her health and physical readiness for labor all have a comprehensive effect on the sustainable social and economic development of countries and well-being of population in general. And it is one of the alcohol and does sports even more frequently and it leads to the increase in life expectancy and it is your work, the result of your work. And I would like to address my colleagues from Russia who are engaged in the development of sport. And we plan to engage over 
half of Russian citizens uh, in doing sports regularly by 2024. And to this end, we take the most serious efforts. We build uh, big and small sports facilities. In view of uh, the tasks in the sphere of sport, we improve parks, residential areas, cities and towns. We provide equipment to sports, grounds, schools, athletic classes. And we assign a very important role in this work to Russian regions and municipalities. Today, we'll have a meeting of the Sports Council that will take place right now in Nizhny Novgorod and discuss all these things in detail and we'll speak on what should be improved in the legislation and what measures should be taken to make sport not just a way of life for people, but rather a vital necessity. I'm confident that by joining our efforts, we'll reach this goal for sure. Uh, distinguished colleagues and friends, uh, uh, let me wish you fruitful work and all the best in work, in life, and in this forum. It is something that we truly need globally and in all the countries separately. Thank you very much.